All hey. right, so, uh, hey everybody. Um, look, look at that water right there. All right, so I am out here on the field at the East City Ranch, and I managed to run into two guys from the UFO I team. I can't seem to find Michael Hall yet, but there is hope still so far. Uh, would you guys just briefly introduce yourselves, uh, starting with you, Lee? Lee, yep, Lee Strauss, the UFO I team. I am the tech and camera guy. I'm also um, a guide for, for the UFOI team. I take the guys out up to mountains like that, Mount Adams. So Great. And Joe, this is the, also the body double for Les Stroud. I think he does his stunts as <laughs> Maybe well. Maybe I, I might. We'll, we'll have to check on that, but, <laughs> but uh, in case he looks familiar, that's part of it. And would you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Andrew Uristi. I am the... Um, Recording guy, the uh, sound digital engineer. Yeah, sound engineer for the team. So I help with uh, any kind of audio needs that we have. So yeah, yeah. yeah these guys have my camera is actually sitting on. It looks like a SEAL team uh, combat pack. <laughs> uh, these guys have all of these cameras and sound devices and everything. And apparently they went up onto Mount Adams last year, and yes. you guys had kind of a weird, weird encounter there or something. Yes. So uh, we we went up with Ambition Pictures and. Uh, one of their camera guys. We went up uh, the, the climbing route up there, um, up to lunch counter, and stayed the night up at lunch counter. And while we were there, the other, uh, the other uh, camera guy in the morning related to us that there was this bright light over the tents. Of course, I didn't see it, I was sound asleep. But he said there was a bright light over the tents, and he just looked up, I said, oh yeah, great. I'm going back to sleep. Went back to sleep, and in the morning, um, the guy that, that heads up Ambition Pictures, I lost his name right now, but he had this big mark on his back. It was like a big uh, boil or big raised black, uh, um, bruised bump. But the thing is, his backpack doesn't touch him on the spine. Mm. It runs, you know, along the sides of the spine, so it doesn't mm -hmm. rub. So we couldn't figure out how the heck he got that, that got there. It was pretty odd. Well, maybe you guys should go in for uh, hypnosis. Or maybe he should. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Agree. So, Andrew, were you on that? I, I wasn't there for that one, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, and have you had any weird encounters or anything? Uh, I have, uh, mainly here at East City. Uh, just, you know, seeing some pretty crazy things in the sky, things that zigzag or do U-turns or even like big, large fireballs that, which I actually thought was the meteorite and it was going to hit the earth. I even braced myself because I'm thinking, this is going to be loud, you wow. know, and nothing, nothing happened. It's oh, just, boy. I mean, like, and it was, up, let me put it this way. If you put your fist up in, like this, this is like the size. The size of my fist was how big this thing wow. was flying down. And I <laughs> thought it was going to, like, kill the earth or something because it was that <laughs> big. Destroy all us all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to see that tonight, hopefully. Oh, hopefully that and better. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I want to get in with these guys because they're really doing some, I always talk to these guys that are doing the next level stuff, and you guys definitely are doing it as well. So, yeah, I'd like to get in with these guys. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, what's the plan tonight? Um, are do you? Are, does that, well? Let, let me go back to your thing on the mountain. First of all, okay. you are going on a mountain where you are down here videotaping these things flying around. What did you expect on the mountain? Did you think they were going to not show up? Or well, that was the second time I've I've climbed it. Um, the first time I wasn't even into this UFO stuff. Um, actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's about was about three years later that I got into it. Um, but going up there, we'd hope we'd see something, you know, since we had Ambition Pictures with us, we were just hoping that we would catch something. We didn't catch anything off in the field. However, there was another film crew set up on the uh, west side of the mountain on a ridge watching us, because we would laze back and forth. We actually laze back with James Gillian down here from up there. Um, but they saw craft, around our location that we did not see so hmm. wow there you go okay well you guys um i want to just show our viewing audience what what we're dealing with here all right so lee this is your stuff yeah, I got right here covered up. and then this is this is your this is a crew this is what, in the military they call this a crew served weapon <laughs> so that's now are all these yours these are all mine oh my gosh so I'm taking time lapse, wide angle time lapse, um, with two cameras facing two different directions. This is um, a Nikon P1000, which is a 3000 uh, millimeter zoom on it, which mm -hmm. is just fantastic when you're zooming in 
the things in the sky. And I've got uh, two full color um, night vision cameras. I've got a, a monocular, actually it's a binocular, but it's... Jeez. And then I've also got a uh, full spectrum camera back here. Oh my God. So, and there's my iPhone. Yeah, your wow, iPhone I, actually. I thought I was something. We we use SkyGuide app on okay. this guy right here, so it t it tells us pretty much what what most satellites are, and what um, rockets you know like yeah, the. I might be able to show you on my yeah, camera. SkyGuide is just a terrific tool, by the way. Damn. And then here, uh, this this screen is for my Psionics full color night vision. Okay. Uh, for for my other phone, and then these two are supporting uh, one of the other colored night visions and. Um, the, uh, this is the black and white night vision that I got here. Wow. So. All we're... right. Wow. Well, <laughs> qu quite a hobby. That's, you know, I'm, I think you could probably take down some aircraft with that <laughs> <Right>. thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so hopefully, yeah. And then, so this puts out a, like a, a signal. So to like an infrared signal, whatever. Or... No, this does. I, How does it do? I, the I just, I don't send any, um, IR from this rig at all, actually. Um, I will pick up IR with two of, the, actually three of the cameras will pick up the IR, but um, actually all four will, excuse me, all four will pick up the IR, but I don't send out any IR at all. Um, it doesn't really check for distance at all. This gear doesn't. Okay. I'm not using a range finder or anything like that. Okay. So you're not going to bring down a UFO? Right? No, we're not going like to do that. anything like that. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are friends as far as we're con you know, yeah. concerned. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for seven years. Me and Ender, mm -hmm. we do. Is it Ander? Ander, uh huh. Oh, okay, like yeah. Swedish, almost. Anders, uh, Ander. It's a uh, kind of close. Yeah, it's, okay. it's Basque. All right. Yeah. I, oh, I thought you were joking about that. Oh no, he's oh, Basque. Okay, okay, I got that. I mm -hmm. got that. Okay. And actually, we're, we're I've got a little Basque in me as well. I'm, I'm a black Swede. That's what they call me. Okay. Because yeah, well, that's a long story. But anyway, <laughs> right. so we're like brothers. probably one we don't yeah. want to hear. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, probably one you don't want to hear. Yeah, and it's good because we're sitting here at East City Ranch and we are basking in that's the sun. Right. So the UFOI team is just about ready to head down for another night of star watching. And um, this is all your equipment, Lee? Yeah, that's that's it. All right. So you're going to hump that down there yourself? Yeah. That is really something. Mm -hmm. Do you get any extra pay for that or anything? No. Nothing? No, I do it because I like it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, it's going to be interesting tonight. Last night was pretty pretty exciting. So any predictions for tonight? Uh, yeah, we're going to see some good stuff tonight. All right. Bigfoot or a UFO? UFO. Okay. You might hear a Bigfoot scream. However, with all the screams that you hear around us, mm -hmm. it'll be hard to discern. All right. Well, I think of all the UFO investigators, you have the most equipment and probably the most updated. So, great. Let's go down there and let's catch some UFOs. Absolutely. Well, in my case, they're right, but it's not because I believe in it, just because I'm crazy. Well, I'm sure nobody's calling you a clown, and they won't.
dispel that state. Mm -hmm. I want to get through so I can show you. You know what? I'm not crazy, guys. Look at it. Yep. I mean, I went to work. I had my issues. I talked about it with people that I thought I could trust. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. I got back to HR. Really? And HR came out and told me if I didn't shut my mouth, I was going to lose my job. Wow. So, one of the reasons I do this. What happened to freedom of speech? Think about, yeah, but it was. Well, like, freedom of speech. It doesn't matter. Break time, lunch time, stuff like that. I talk about it. But, the, you know, it's just, it's just the issue that if that's happening to me, think about all the other thousands of people it's happening to. Mm hmm. Yeah, but we're, we're told. Uh, to not talk politics, religion. religion, and that's if they want to keep, you know, they don't want people yelling at each other in the workplace. Isn't this America? Yeah, but when you're working for a company, the freedom no, of I, speech, I know. Uh, you know. I'm just a smartass. It's kind of like the going through the media. It should have been stopped right away. So as we set in for our second night of star, what are we doing? We are star, we are sky watching. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired and I'm, so all right. So we are on our second night of sky watching and ahead of us is Mount Adams. Now this is the west side. That is correct, yes? Yes. And last time it was the. This is the west side. And last time it was the, yesterday was the south side. We were on the south side. So, and you got a big old glacier coming down there. So, pretty cool. And we're going to have a much closer vantage of any UFO activity. And hopefully we're going to have some Bigfoot action as well. So, but what a beautiful scene this is. I don't know why I'm sitting here recording when I could be enjoying it. All right, well, as Lee sets up, we're getting some uh, unusual activity on one of our monitors. I'm not sure if that's UFO or uh, the technician Something is going on issue. Odd. I'm not getting connectivity with the uh, psionics aurora for some Well, you got to have your psionics aurora going. You're, you can be nowhere without that. Mm-hmm. So, right You're pink and blue. There it goes. It's just connected. So, waiting for it to refresh. And here it is. And here we are. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's a good view of the mountain there. The life trials and technical issues of the UFO researcher. <laughs> Lee, you have probably 10,000 more technical issues than most UFO researchers. <laughs> but that's good. Are you serious? Dead serious. Brand frickin' new battery that was phone charged. Oh, man. All right, so before the sun goes down, I just want to update you on our last night here uh, we've already seen one craft descending we have a lot of electronic issues we've had a battery go dead we have these things just literally freaking out so probably has something to do with electromagnetic uh, interference in the air but what's that from so I think it's going to be an interesting night, and as you can see above the mountain, there is a really unusual cloud, and uh, it just seems to be sitting there, but there's no explanation for how it got there, because it's too cold. So, going to be an interesting evening. Okay, there's the first star. Yep. That, that's what I was going to say. We have uh, some stars on my... straight up, but uh, at about kind of some stars on my screen here. All right. So we just want to document that uh, one of Lee's phones 
just started calling um, with no uh, nobody touching it or anything. Just started it's making. Now. now it's calling Amazon. So maybe uh, maybe the ETs want to pick up some merchandise. <laughs>